What's up, guys? Got material and some surprise fidgets. Unpack for some errands. Crystal tie wrapped. Copper top B. I used this one in the car a lot earlier. Get the patina coming off in some of those spots. Tungsten Axis Micro Mini. Copper Fuse. And Tungsten Chonky. I didn't pull this one out while we were out. Just a little bit of extra work. Just pulling her out of the zipper pouch, but that's good. Everything else got used though. So, let's see. I'm gonna use Bob for this because, oh, this first package is literally just bars of metal. Whoa. Whoa, this is dusty. Really dusty package. All that. Yes, it is. Oh, one inch diameter. Or... Yep. Okay. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. I was hoping it would be one big rod, just because that would be so cool to have, but that'll work. I think I'm even gonna leave these in the plastic just because I'm gonna keep it prettier for longer. I've already got a, at least a foot of this stuff out and ready to go. Yeah, that's nice. Hey, so I've Sweet. always wondered, how does he etch the entire rod? It's a big container. <laughs> oh, well, this one's already out of the plastic. This twist is slightly tighter than my last bar. Really pretty bar. Nice. Wow. Even Zerg layers. Outer layers are a little fat. That's okay. Cool. Alright. Fidgets. That was a little loud. So I've also, I know there's a pillar in here. Me and Ollie worked out a trade. Standard pillar? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about a mega pillar. No. I already got one of those. Yeah, I was really confused. Yeah, it's a mega pillar with, or a standard pillar <laughs> with no buttons. If I, yeah. Alright. Oh, I found the pillar right away. <laughs> cool. So it doesn't have buttons, but. That is a very easy thing. Four now, yeah, and I'm gonna definitely get rid of that machine oh line right there. That is a gnarly one. Oh my god. Alright. This is definitely gonna be the cheapest god. <laughs> cheapest pillar in existence. Let's see how the balance is. What buttons are those from? The chonky. Ah, oh, that's right. It's a little heavy on that side. That's good. I can reshape it. Oh, yeah. and we got uh, some drop marks right there. Nice. Yeah, this is definitely going to get refinished in a little bit. Feels like a pillar, though. Bearing feels nice. What is that? I don't know. Some kind of ribbon cage, something. Can't tell if it's a hybrid ceramic or full stainless. Nice. Thank you, sir. There you go. Pillar works pretty good with the chunky buttons. That's actually... The same thickness I'm gonna do. Oh, cool! Oh, I've been wanting to try one of those. <laughs> okay, let's see. Is that just the normal SP1? No, this or... is tungsten. Oh, what? Yeah. So it's a little edgy with how hard I rip. Like, I'm feeling that, but feedback and the judder and the speed, the thumps pretty good but this like I'm feeling it right there this thing needs like a 20 hour tumble and then we'll be we'll, we'll, we'll be there whoever owns this can I tumble it 
I'm literally asking because I want to experience it tumbled. Here, grab it. Check it out. Ooh, I like the weight. Yeah, it's not super heavy. I should pull out the scale here in a second. What is this? Yeah, edges are a little bit sharp to see what you mean. Yep, a little sharp. Nice though. Buttons are pretty good and well disc and grippy. What is that? Zero one EDC mechanical something. Looks like something I might buy. I don't know which way to use it. So it rotates on one side. Interesting. All right, check that out. I'm gonna keep digging in here. Oh. Huh. What the heck is this material? It sounds super interesting. Looks like Teflon or Eflon, whatever you want to call it. Oh, this is tracked. Okay. Oh, so it only moves one direction. Yeah, yeah. Oh. This has unique haptics and a really, really unique sound. Okay. Oh, God, that was loud, though. Holy crap. It's actually too loud for me if I... <laughs> yeah, that smacked. I had to hold my ears for that. Holy crap. Ooh. I mean, it's, that feels great. Though. Oh, I the saw... Sliding, it feels great. Yeah, I've seen videos of this thing. I don't remember what it's called. Isn't that one of the, like, an oldie or something? A really old spinner? Maybe. Can I spin? How do I spin both at the same time? So this is just two... Is this just two spinners in one? Yes. With a... <laughs> Really? Okay. It is. Literally with just the central, like, bearing post spacer. Interesting. So, yeah, two spinners in one with a, it's a sandwich. I mean, it rips. Is there supposed to be that much play? I feel like there shouldn't be. It's pretty interesting, however, it's very loose. Why is it loose? I don't know, dig in. Maybe one of the screws are loose or something. Huh. Okay, I'm the most interested in, of all the things in this one. What is this way? I'm going to try it with some lightweight buttons. Are you going to make a guess? It's like... One... I was going to guess like 130. Yeah, like 130 or 40. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's 193. Whoa. It's way <laughs> off. Have these released in tungsten yet? Yeah, I think there was a small, small drop. <sighs> Okay, I didn't know if they had done the drop already or not. It's really fast and it slaps. I'm more curious than the uh, second version they're releasing because it's more smooth, less detailed. So I wonder if that'll help with the uh, edges. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little more into the design of the cutouts too with the other one. Yep. It's much more noisy with those buttons. Yeah, these buttons are actually, it's one reason I'm not gonna sell them. I made the post a little bit wrong. There's a little gap whenever it's screwed together. Oh. Yeah, it's on uh, these buttons really only work good on tri spinners because you can't hear that problem. It only happens when there's jugger. Mm. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, it's very small. I just didn't make the relief cut big enough. It's because it was chattering like a bitch. Because tungsten. Well, that's pretty nice. I this thing. Go for it. Stainless steel. Yeah. yeah, this thing slaps. I'm pretty surprised by that. How do you? Yeah, how do you? Oops. Oh, that's how. I don't know. It's really awkward though. Hard to get it like lined up. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely has great feedback and great gyro, and it's very fast. Carries a lot of inertia. Which definitely surprises me by the design, like in the shape. It, I expected it to be slower than it is. 
so that's great literally the only thing about it for me is just the the edges um i think this is a i mean i can see some machine lines it looks like maybe it's had some kind of finishing work done to it but i would definitely like to tumble it to soften the edges up if it were mine definitely super fast and comfortable like with the chamfers and everything it's just a couple of those like edges right right there on the corner the double chamfers definitely help in softening it up like that's kind of what's going on here between the ball and the chamfer same thing with the torque bar you got kind of the double chamfer thing going on and that's definitely comfortable i think it's just not enough chamfer on that nah, one there's plenty I mean, a little more chamfer could help, but I mean, it's literally like, there's still just like a fine edge from the machining. It's just super, super fine. Like I can almost, I'm trying to catch, there we go. I can almost like grind my fingernail off on it, like cut my fingernail if I push on it really hard. So it just needs to be softened up just a little bit more. We're just flicking it so hard that it <laughs> it makes it uncomfortable. Mind if I try it? Buttons go nice with the bow. Yeah, it's a good fit. I don't know. If you hold it a certain way and use like the fat part of your finger, it doesn't really... You can't really yeah, feel it. Then I'm not getting maximum like spin forces. I have a certain yeah. way I grip it and rip it that I got to be able to do it a certain way um, I do like these buttons a lot too I mean it's just a nice wide dish you know looks like Are they machine finish yeah I'd say so it could have some light sanding done to them but looks like this one's been a really good machine well finish with uh, yeah light tumbling yep yeah, I could use a little more definitely good buttons there's not many stock buttons that are pretty good. You know, a deeper dish is always welcome, but these are good. Nice job. Ollie, thanks for sending this stuff. This is really cool and smooth, but ungodly loud. Like, it, it is actually painful to my ears. It literally feels like I'm getting smacked in the side of the head. Did you figure out why this is loose? Oh, I see. You're talking about this, like, part right here? Yeah, the part that wobbles. Also, this side very slightly uh heavy yeah like barely you know it's not doing it flip it the other way and see what it does give it 180 degrees and yeah it's curious Almost. yeah yeah maybe it's just a hair to matter yep i wonder if that part of the rotation is loose maybe i don't know I don't want to take it all the way apart to be honest i don't I like i don't like it, it enough to care <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's uh so my thing with 0101 edc whatever it is now i literally don't even know what to call them all their the, products are too bulky for me for what they are they're the like only one i like yeah this one's this. yeah and this one's <laughs> like thin like look at the difference in that like every part of this is like 50 percent slimmer like the only reason i wouldn't get that one i mean it's a great design i love how it does that but it was just slimmer i would almost just like it if it was a two layer having the, the second layer yeah. or the the bottom layer that just goes up and down just kind of like if it went back and forth though kind of like how the v2 nano does it would, i think it would be a little better and also yeah. both sides and, being able to rotate yeah, rather and, than only one most of the O1 EDC stuff doesn't go both ways, either in by design. I mean, it's got good clicks. It's a good, like, multi-fidget, I guess. A decent multi-fidget, but no multi-fidget is as good as a well-tuned, single-purpose fidget. It's just never going to be... Yeah, like, top B or top C or whatever. Yep. Yeah, like, if you just want mechanical haptic key things. I'm glad Drake has this here for comparison. I would just recommend the Mini Burger or whatever it's called over 
this giant chonker. Yeah, I'll always recommend the mini burger. I love it. Yep. It's like it's my favorite mechanical slider. Yep, it's good. All right, I guess that's that's all the stuffs. I want to swap my buttons back over to the dune over here. I'm not going to make myself pillar buttons today. I just don't have time and I should do other things instead. <laughs> I wonder if I'll mod these though. Give them some extra addition. Oh, that was a terrible rip. I definitely like lightweight buttons on my tungsten bar spinners. You just get better judder like effects and feedback. The tungsten definitely eats it up. It's on your mega pillar. I mean, that's for weight training. That's it's fair. to keep it heavy, but it's because I want it to increase my grip. I I have this debate too. I actually, I mean, I just sold Steve my titanium grip, so like, yeah, I don't, I really don't care to have them on the mega, like this. Yes. This is, I mean, this is like my favorite combo right now. Heavy and light. It's amazing. Maybe I'll sand and balance this today, though. Because this is really bad. This thing needs some love. Let's see, which side's heavy side? The side with the mark. Yeah. The horrible machine line. It's heavy. I kept forgetting yesterday or the other day when I was working on Steve's. Like, I mean, I would mark them, but sometimes I would not mark it and then I would turn around back to the lathe and be like, I don't remember which side is heavy. And I would have to like put the buttons back on and do a lift test again. Awesome. <laughs> yep. Um, all right. Thanks for watching guys. Ollie, thanks for sending this stuff. Um, if anyone else was involved and I don't know, I'm sorry, but also thank you. <laughs> See you guys.